Let's create a ChatGPT clone in HTMX. Let's start by creating an index.html file. Now I will be using PHP for the backend, but the index file does not need to have any PHP in it. So let's add some HTML boilerplate and let's set a title. And let's include our HTMX library. Then let's create a sidebar. And in the sidebar, let's create a button. Let's call it new chat. Let's also create a main area. And let's add some CSS styling. Some boilerplate first. And let's set the font. And let's make the body display block. Then let's style the sidebar. And let's make a style for the button. And let's add some hover effect. Now let's start a PHP server. And let's open this in the browser. Looks terrible. Let's include our style sheet. And let's try this again. Okay, almost there. All right, now we have a sidebar and a new chat button. Let's add some HTMX. When we click the button, we want to post to newchat.php. Let's create that. In newchat.php, we want to create a directory where we will store all our chats if the directory doesn't exist yet. Then we will create a unique ID for this chat. And let's create a file in the chats folder with this unique ID in the name. Then let's print out a button for this chat conversation. Let's go back to our index.html and let's set a target for this button. Let's call it chats. And let's make the hx swap to be after begin. Then let's create that chats element. Now, whatever we get from newchat.php, we will add to chats in the beginning. Let's go check out our website. Now, if we click new chat, we will get an untitled chat. If you click new chat again, we get another one and another one and another one. And if we go take a look at our files, we have a new chat ID for each of these chats. And in the file, we have some JSON. Great. When we click on the button of the chat conversation, we should post to loadchat.php. Or rather, just get. And we will pass in the chat ID. And the target for this should be the main area. Let's create loadchat.php. In loadchat.php, we will load the chats from the message history. Then we will loop through every message in the chat history. And we will print them out. Then in the end, we will add a form so that we can send a new chat message. Let's also pass in the chat ID in this form. And this form should hx post to send message.php. Let's create that file. In this file, we will again load the chat messages. And we will add the new message to the chat history. And we have to save the JSON file with the new message. And we will return an HTML element of the latest message from this endpoint. Let's see how this looks. If we click new chat, we get a new untitled chat. If we click untitled chat, we get a form down here. So let's add some CSS. This should be flex, not block. Let's see what these changes look like. Okay, we have a message box and a send button. Let's move it down. Yes. 
And let's give the messages a flex one. And let's try this again. Okay, now it's in the right place. It's a bit too big. That looks better. If we now send a message, we get it here in the list, but our form disappeared. So let's set an HX target to be the messages. And let's set the HX swap to be before end. Let's try this again. Hello. Now we get a new message here, and if we send it again and again and again, we get new messages. Let's add some styling to them. And let's try again. Hello. Okay, now it looks a little bit better. Now we need a response from ChatGPT. So let's add an HX get to the message element. And let's get it from getResponse.php. And let's set the HX target again to messages. And let's set the HX swap to be before end. Let's create getResponse.php. In getResponse.php, we will again load the chat messages. And we have to pass in the chat ID. Then let's get the latest message from the chat. And let's send that message to ChatGPT. To do that, let's download our favorite ChatGPT API library for PHP. And let's create a file for that. Then let's include it here. And let's send the message. Then let's save the ChatGPT response to the chat history. And let's save the chat history file. And let's print out the response from ChatGPT. And let's update our send message to actually have the right format of the message. And let's try it out. New chat, untitled chat, hello, send. Something went wrong, let's check the error log. We need to set the HX trigger to be load so that we will actually get the response when the message is sent. Let's try this again. New chat, untitled chat, hello, send. Something is still wrong. Let's take a look. We have an error. We need to send only the content from the message. One more try. New chat. Untitled chat. Hello. Send. Hello. That is my message. <laughs> I think I print out the wrong message. So let's go back here. And this is not message content. This will be response content. Hello. Hello, how can I assist you today? So now we are actually talking to ChatGPT. What is 5 plus 5? 10. What is the distance from the Earth to the Moon? The average distance from the Earth to the Moon is about 238,855 miles. Great, it works. Now if we refresh, we lose everything. But that is easily fixed. Let's go to our index.html. And in our chats div, let's add an hx get to conversations.php. And let's set the hx trigger to load. And let's create that file. In this file, let's loop through all of the conversations in the chats folder. In reverse. And let's create a button for each of them. And let's parse the information from the chat file. And let's try this out. Now we have all our conversations here. And if we click on the latest one, nothing happens. Because we actually have to add here hx get. And we will get from load 
chat.php. And we have to pass in the chat ID. And we have to set the target to be the main area. And let's try this out. Let's click on the first conversation and we get our conversation. Let's delete our chat history because we have some errors in there because I added the wrong kind of data at first. And let's try this out. We click new chat and we click untitled chat and we say what is the difference from the earth to the moon. And if we refresh, we still have the chat here and if we click on it, we get it. If we make a new chat and we click on it and we say hello and we refresh, we still have the messages and if we click on this one, we get hello and if we click on this one, we get the other message. Now it would be nice if we could just click here and then we would automatically go to the new chat. And we can do that. Let's change our new chat.php and let's set the hx trigger to click and load. So now if we refresh and we click on new chat, we get the chat here already. And we can send a message, hello, and it works. Now it would be nice to have some conversation titles here. So let's do that. When we get the response from ChatGPT, let's add an hx get to this message element and let's get the title from create title.php and let's pass in the chat ID again. And let's set the hx target to be a class that is chat dash and the chat ID. And let's add that class to each of the chat conversation buttons. Or in fact only the new chat buttons. Let's also add to the new chat button a new parameter to the load chat URL. This way we know that this is a new chat that doesn't have a title yet. Then in load chat we will pass that parameter along with the message. And in send message.php let's pass that along with the get response request. Then let's make this hxget conditional in the get response file. So if we have the post new, then we will set create title to be this. Otherwise, create title is empty. Now let's make that create title file. Here we will again load the chat. And we will get the assistant message, which will be the last message. And then we will get the previous one before that, which will be the user message. We will then set a system message for chat GPT. And we will set the message to please create a title for this conversation. And we will add our question to it and the answer from ChatGPT. We will then get the response and we will take the title from that response. We will trim the quotes from it and we will echo the title. Let's try it out. Let's click new chat and let's say what is the distance Send. We get the distance and we do not get the title. Let's see if we have some errors. Again, I forgot to add hx trigger to be load. And this should be get, not post. Let's try it again. Now we got the message and we still don't get the title. Because I forgot to include my ChatGPT library in my create title file. Let's try it one more time. And we got the response and we got a title. Now I forgot to save this in the file, so if we refresh it disappears, so let's do that. 
And let's add some CSS to our buttons. Overflow, hidden, text overflow, ellipsis, and white space, no wrap. Let's try this one more time. New chat. What is the distance from the Earth to the Moon? And here's our answer, and here is our title. If we create another chat and we say, write a short story about a man named Mike. We get a very long story that breaks our UI, and we get a title for this story. And if we refresh, we still get our titles here, and we can open these, and they are still in the history. Now let's fix this UI. Let's add an overflow auto to our messages. Overflow Y. And let's refresh, and now it looks a lot better. Let's also convert the new lines into line breaks. And let's refresh, and now we actually have paragraphs here. And that's it. We have created a simple ChatGPT clone with HTMX. No JavaScript necessary. Well, of course, HTMX is a JavaScript library, but we didn't add any JavaScript to this page. Now, there's one place we should add some JavaScript, and it is this. When we say hello, the message stays here. So we can add to our send message PHP simply script and let's say message form reset. And let's add an ID for our message form. And let's refresh and let's try this again. Hello. And now it works. We don't have the text here anymore. And we only had to add one line of JavaScript. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click like on this video. And let me know in the comments, would you like to see something more with HTMX or perhaps a ChatGPT clone in another language or with another backend than PHP. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.